Hey everyone, Dr. Josh Matson here with Infinity Chiropractic Center. I'm going to talk about uh, developmental milestones, their importance, why a lot of kids don't hit them in the first place, um, and then also how that correlates to things in the future because we see a lot of kids that come in with all kinds of different neurological and developmental issues and the most consistent thing throughout all of them is they didn't develop their motor milestones uh, appropriately on time. A lot of them were either early or they were late. Uh, so their developmental motor milestones are really indicative and uh, very important for determining how their uh, future function is going to be. So why kids, first and foremost, don't hit a lot of their movement milestones? So the first ones you always, people always look for are they crawling, are they walking, you know, those ones. Um, most importantly, prior to that, though, is there, are they army crawling? Are they rolling over? Um, are they getting up on their hands and knees? Are they sitting up? Those are really important milestones as well. And a lot of people kind of don't even worry about those like, oh, yeah, he didn't he didn't roll over or um, yeah, my my daughter never army crawled. They went straight to crawling. That's awesome. You know, that's what they think. But that's actually not a good thing. You want to, them to hit a very um, specific sequence as they develop, because, for example, rolling helps you develop musculature that helps you to learn to crawl and also to help you to stand up. So it helps you develop your side musculature that keeps your body balanced when you stand up. Um, so if you miss that, you don't develop that well, then walking doesn't develop on time or, um, you know, those types of things. But there's different reflexes that we're born with that help us to start to um, develop these movement milestones appropriately. So if these reflexes aren't developing well, what happens is kids get delayed in their motor developments. Um, what you can do really simply is you can work through those developmental reflexes if they haven't developed well. If you see someone like me or Dr. Tyler or maybe even someone else in your area that looks at those developmental reflexes and make sure that they're developing them correctly. That's really, really important for uh, not only their early motor development, but also later in life. What it's going to affect is if you don't develop those early motor milestones, we see kids that come in with balance coordination issues. We see kids that come in with behavioral issues because... Uh, reason why is army crawling helps you develop an area of your brain called your limbic system, which helps regulate emotions. So you'll see behavioral issues. You'll see reading issues. If kids, a really consistent thing you'll see with kids that have reading issues that come in is that they never crawled either appropriately. They crawled for a very short amount of time. They usually walk right around nine months, um, which everyone thinks is good, but it's actually not. Uh, and it's a sign that they didn't, never developed a reflex called an asymmetrical tonic neck reflex. But they will, you know, they'll come in with things, um, they'll have outbursts. A lot of them, if they don't develop what's called a moral reflex or startle reflex appropriately, which should develop in the first three to four months of life, um, they will come in with eye tracking difficulties. They'll come in with um, attention issues that a lot of the reflexes that are still present should be gone before six or eight months of life. It's kind of thinking of it as there's areas of the brain that haven't developed past six months or eight months and you don't really expect to you know, a, a six month old to be able to look at you and pay attention and, and have a, a good solid conversation with you. But that's where a lot of these kids are is they're in those early developmental stages and they never developed appropriately. And what we'll do is we'll go back and work on developing through them if that happens. But the best way to uh, protect that from happening is by making sure they hit their developmental milestones when they're supposed to. Um, and how you do that is by checking their primitive reflexes. If kids get their primitive reflexes checked, and they're developing the way that they're supposed to, I have not seen one that hasn't hit their movement milestones unless there was something else going on, like a genetic disorder, or they had um, you know, something weird going on that they were born with. Maybe they had a brain injury when they were born. You know, Those things will throw it off. But if it's a normal neurological child, no major injuries, no genetic issues, if they make sure that they are remediating or getting rid of their primitive reflexes when they should, their movement milestones come right on time right when they're supposed to and they don't come late or they don't come early but um in the time frame they put those in is really really important they hit those i think walking is um oh, I'll that one second but i think walking is a uh something that's viewed as oh my kid walked in nine months that's great which really that's not great um also if they walk late that's not good but they have a you know i think the the time frame is supposed to could be up to like 16 months, which is definitely not normal. If it's you know 13 or 14 months, it's getting pretty out there. But um, Olivia, is there a primitive reflex that can delay crawling? Yes, there is a primitive reflex. Uh, there's a couple different ones. The most common one that we see is what's called an asymmetrical tonic neck reflex. It's a reflex that 
um, when kids get on their hands and knees when they're a little bit older, when kids get on their hands and knees and you turn their head, their arm will fall out. To crawl, you have to be able to turn your head slightly and extend your arm. If you still have this reflex, it will create dropping out of your arm. So you can't create that normal cross crawl pattern. Um, so that's uh, the reflex that will most commonly play into that. There's a couple other ones um, that are a little bit more complex, like a symmetrical rolling reflex sometimes will play into that, but 95% of the time, an asymmetrical tonic neck reflex will cause that um, to be delayed. So if you have any more questions on that, I have a lot of videos prior to of things you can do for an asymmetrical tonic neck reflex. Um, but that's a big one for crawling. So. Other ones for walking, uh, there's a reflex called a motor reflex. It should go away right around three to four months. It helps to develop your vestibular system. Um, that if it's not developed well, kids will be delayed in walking. Uh, also, if they have a Babinski reflex, it's where you stroke the bottom of their foot and their toes come up, or they, a planter is where they go down. If they still have those reflexes, it'll create walking difficulties because every time they plant their foot, their toes will want to come up. So that will create delays in walking. Um, they can have also what's called a tonic labyrinthine reflex that uh, they can play into a development of balance and coordination. Uh, right around a year, they're supposed to develop what are called postural reflexes that keep their head level. And if those don't develop well, then they'll have balance and coordination issues. But anyways, my point of saying all that is, is that early motor milestones, if they're not hit on time, it's a sign that there's something that isn't developing appropriately it's a heck of a lot easier to attack it at the, you know, right then at a year old than it is when they're eight, nine years old. It takes three visits versus 30 visits. You know, it's a huge difference. So if your kids aren't hitting their motor milestones, there's a lot of things you can do. Contact us, message us, we'll give you support, we'll help you if they're not reaching it, um, and we'll work on getting them developed so that in the future you're not experiencing all kinds of reading delays, learning delays, attention issues, behavioral issues, they can all, most of them can be avoided uh, if you're helping your child to develop the correct ways. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, yeah, so a 10 month old isn't crawling. Uh, it's a lot of times it's just because they, they have a reflex that's in the way that their brain never shut down or regulated appropriately. So um, if they're 10 months, they should be crawling right around seven, six to seven, six to eight is what they say. But um, I think right around seven is a pretty good time for kids to be crawling. They should be army crawling prior to that though. Uh, but anyways, it probably has an asymmetrical tonic neck reflex. If you want, give our office a call, 515-264-3405. Um, we can get them checked out and make sure that those reflexes aren't stopping them. Because if they still have those reflexes, reflexes, it's kind of like they're fighting their own body the entire time. So, um, But anyways, have an awesome day. I hope this helps you guys and enjoy.